Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make a very quick review of this new device, uh, Trigbo Portable Power Station G300. Um, this is a very big power bank. It's 80,000 milliamps and almost 300 watt hour with an, an, an output of about 350 watt. Um, I didn't know that something like this existed until a few months ago when I first bought it. Um, I live in the Northwest and there were some fires and the power was going out everywhere. And I was just very worried about not being able to go to work or school from home because of power. So it, it could end up costing me more than the price of this. So let's get to the unboxing. So just a quick disclaimer, I've already unboxed this. I've been using it for quite some time, but I tried to put everything back together as it was when I first bought it, just to give you some kind of an unboxing experience. We have these things, and here is the power station itself. Okay, let's put it here for a second. There is nothing else in here except this. It's a very nice box with a nice handle, so you can hold it with it. But let's put it on the side for now. Okay, so before we go to the little power station itself, let's go through this little box that comes with it. Here we have the adapter. And here we have the charger adapter too. So it's an AC adapter. You cannot charge it with another bar bank or with a USB-C or something like that. You have to use this adapter. And here we have the user manual. And I really recommend that you should read this and go through this when you buy a portable power station that's 80,000 milliamps. Because this is a lot of power and you don't want it to end up burning or exploding or risking your life. So. Reading this is very important. It will tell you not to put it near the sun for a long time. It will tell you not to put it close to a fire. It will explain to you how to charge it, how to use it, so you make sure you're using it safely. So let's put all this on aside for now. And let's get as a device itself. So here it is. I picked this specific one because of how nice and modern it looks like. As you can see, it's very smooth. It's just one piece. It's big, it's heavy, it's about six pounds. But it's also it's also 80,000 milliamps. <laughs> this can charge my phone, you know, 20 something times. Um, so I, I charge my phone like that once every two days. So this could last me, you know, near two months if the power were to go out and I really need to use my phone. Um, these, the total of them is 350, but if you just use one of them, it's gonna be 350. You can also use uh, another, um, connectors that has more outlets, but you have to make sure that the total of them does not exceed 350. Now, theoretically, in the manual, when you read it, it will say that if you connect something that's over 350, it just won't work. I haven't tried it, and I would not recommend trying to connect anything than, uh, more than 350, because you could accidentally break something inside. It's just, you know, don't do it. Um, but I believe if you have like a BC, you need to do the math on the components or just about supplies and make sure it's not more than 350. Now, one of the good things I really like about this is a screen here to tell you how much it's charged. Now it's it's almost 100%, should be 100%. Um, this thing takes about six hours to fully charge from 0% to 100%. Um, it came about 50% charged, so you can use it right out of the box. And then it took me about two and a half hours, I think, to, to get it up to 100%. Uh, also, they say that you could store this somewhere uh, for almost six months and the battery should still hold almost 100%. Um, so because you would not need, need to use this on an everyday basis usually. So you will just charge it to 100% and you'll put it in a garage or something until, you know, something comes up and you need it. You go out camping, um, the bar goes down for any reason and you need this little boy so you can just get it and it's still going to be 100%. Um, so here we have a wireless charger and, um, I believe it's, um, I've tried it and I think it's 10, um, yeah, it's 10 watt. So it's faster than five, you know, the normal wireless charger or normal, you know, the basic one, but it's also not 18. You know, I've seen some that are 18 and more. So, you know, it's not slow, but it's not super fast, but it will do. Um, here we have two USB A's. Um, this is a charger where you charge it with. And I haven't really tried this myself. This is a USB-C with 18 watts. And we have these two um, plugs here. So 
Um, to turn it on, we have to click here. Now this will only turn on the AC, the DC ones and the wireless charger and the flashlight, I'll show you in a second. But to turn the AC, we need to, to hit the AC button. And when I will show you that we have a, one fan here, another fan here, and once you turn the AC, I'll try to make you hear it. I'm not sure if it's gonna be clear or not, but you could hear the fan running for a second, um, you know, just to get ready, because the fans will only work when you're using AC, just to, to warm it up, just to make sure it doesn't get really hot. Uh, one of the other things I really like about this is that it will tell you what the output is when you're using it. So you can actually use this to measure uh, the consumption of some of your devices. Just, just make sure, please, that it's under um, 350. So for example, this is another bar bank that I have, and I already reviewed this on that channel before. Um, it should be, I think, on the 18 watt, but let's give it a test. So now this is a power bank that's 22% full. We're gonna charge it from this other power station. And as I told you, the good thing is that it's gonna tell us here um, the output. So how much power this is using from this. This is literally sucking from this 18 watts now. So yeah, it should be 18 to 20 watts. Um, that's how fast this is gonna charge from this. And you can see here, this is um, charging. And um, yeah, so this is like a little bar bank sucking from a big <laughs> bar bank. Anyway, so here you see it, it's working. Uh, if you connect so many things, you could hear the fan working sometimes, but not always. It depends on the load on it. This is only 20 watt. Again, this works up to 350 watts, so more than uh, one and a half of this speed. So let's disconnect this now. Um, again, this is another bar bank that's really cool, and it comes with a adapter and also the, oh, the cables. I have a single, a different review on my channel for this device. If you want to take a look at it, okay. So. I have to turn the AC back off, so I will click in one more time. Now it's only AC, and now it's totally shut down. Um, here, I want to show you the flashlight. So this is the bottom for the flashlight, and it has a few modes. So if we click on the flashlight just one time, it turns on like that. It's very bright, as you can see. If we click one more time, it's going to be like SOS, very fast flashing. If you turn one more time, it's going to be slower. And if we turn one more time, you turn it off. So I think it's really cool that it has such a big flashlight. Some of them has just a tiny one or a tiny lamp here or there, but this is really big and it's very bright and it's very white. I, I don't like the yellow lights much. The white one is much better to me at least. So I think this is really cool. So if the power goes off for any reason, I can charge my computer. I can connect the modem and the router. I can charge my phone from here. I will be able to see how much left. I will be able to see how much each device is using. And I will be able to charge another wireless, uh, another phone here with wireless charger. And I will be able to also turn on the, yeah. the flashlight here. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, yeah, before I forget, one of the modes that I had really wished they had it here was a UBS mode, so that I would be able to use this um, without using the battery. So a lot of people buy these things to use them for CBAP machines because you simply can't afford for the power to go down in the middle of the night when you're using a CPAP machine that's going to turn off without power. And, you know, there is a reason why you use a CPAP machine, so you really need it to be working. So a lot of people will get these devices or some sort of UBS. So a UBS is something that will connect to the electricity or the power. If this had a UBS, it will take the power from the wall and get it out from the other end or from this, this output without charging and decharging the internal battery. Now, this does not have this mode. So if you connect something from it, like a CBAP machine, at the same time that this is charging, so you're charging and decharging it at the same time, it's going to have to charge the battery and then decharge the battery again, which will lower the cycles and the lifetime of this battery. A UBS mode will mean that this battery will not get charged whatsoever and the bar will just keep going in and out without you going through the battery unless the bar goes out, and that's when the battery kicks in. This does not have the same mode, so you can still use it in the same way, but it's really, it's going to affect the battery of this device. I knew this when I bought it. It's not real for me because I don't have a CBAP machine myself. Um, I'm mainly using it when I go out, like camping or, or partying or something that um, I really need it for, or even shooting something or studying with a few friends, so we can go somewhere that doesn't necessarily have um, plugs and we can charge our computers and laptops here 
one other use again is just I feel safer if the if the power goes down for any reason. Now that everyone is working and studying from home, I cannot afford to lose power and to lose the internet. So having this just makes me feel safe. I can just connect my modem, my internet, my computer, and I can get to work. So yeah, that's basically it. If you like my video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to my channel. I have some other um, products here. I have this Rav Power that just came a few days ago. It's, it's a power house. This is a power station. And uh, this is a power bank. This is another power bank. This is another power bank. And this is another power bank. This is another power bank. Okay, so these are all power banks. You use these to charge your phone. You can use them sometimes to run a modem or router, but you need a special connector. This is a power station. This is huge. You can charge these from that. And this is almost bigger than all of these combined. <laughs> combined. This is 30,000 milliamps, 30,000 milliamps. I believe this is 20,000 milliamps. Uh, this is 80,000 milliamps. Now, this is a power house. This is something right in between these and this. So if you don't want something that's huge like that, but at the same time, you want something that has a little plug, this is it. This is a solution. Now, I'm not going to go through the unboxing and reviewing this in the video. I'm going to make a different one. But if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and wait for this video soon. Thank you.